YouTube this is Miss Taylor B and I'm finally back with more videos and the reason why I'm doing this video is because it has been highly 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 requested all over my social media that I do this video on this particular hair that I'm about to show you right now I don't want to make it too long-winded so I'm gonna jump right into it so the hair that I'm talking about is from unkempt curls and it's the kinky curly texture this is it right here now this is old I haven't um, retouched it or anything I've actually been away um, out of the country I was in Germany for a month with the army so she was just sitting right here on my mannequin head just chilling now I'm gonna tell you guys like I told everyone on my social media who has DM's me asked me everything about this hair and I am I 100% want to tell you guys this hair is the best curly hair I've ever had because I've had this hair for almost three months and it's still soft and the thing I like about it most is that it moves. Look at these curls moving. I hate stiff hair. Other kinky curly hair that I've had, it was stiff and it didn't move like this. It would move as one unit, but this moves. Every single ringlet moves. Now, the reason why people have been DMing me, and if I can, I'll post a picture of the picture that uh, people have been going crazy over. Um, the curls, I got my curls to pop. I have a technique that I stole from two other YouTubers. I stole it from first, um, Shameless Maya and then Chrissy Cousin. I, I took their technique and then kind of made it into my own and made it how I like it. Um, a lot of people who got this hair, they said, I can't get the curls to pop how you got them to pop. I'm about to show you right now. Now, and also, people are like, how did you make your wig? How did you get your wig to stay on? If you want to get kinky curly hair, I suggest you make it into a wig because into a weave, it's going to be a lot of maintenance and kinky curly hair is a lot of maintenance to begin with. So just make it into a wig that you take off every night. Don't mind my hair, but this is my braid pattern underneath of my wigs. Usually this part is over here because I like to wear um, different wigs, so face closures, whatever, and I like to lay as flat as possible. Usually it's a lot smaller. So <clears throat> the inside of my cap, I literally just use a regular wig cap. The wig cap that you put underneath your wigs, that's what I sew this onto. And this, these are like my anchor braids. So when I put it on, let me show you. I'm gonna put it on this, these braids right here. And it's not going anywhere. It is not gonna move. Like it stops right here at these braids. Now I could go out like this. I could leave it, well obviously I'm not gonna take these out, but I could go out like this, but it's a little frizzy. I like the frizziness, but I went down to... just a little bit. Let me get a little closer, y'all. And that's what people have been trying to figure out what I do when it comes to that. So I'm gonna move my phone down just a pinch. All right, so I wanna tone down some of this frizz in the front. So. Okay, all right, I should've run a hair scrunchie. So I'll just do one at a time since I don't have a hair scrunchie. So this is what I do. So I have to look at the mirror over here. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay, so let's do this section right here. And I like to take small sections. You're gonna need a water bottle. I already have some conditioner in it. I use the herbal essences. It doesn't matter what kind. I just like the smell of it. So you're gonna soak this section down. And yes, I'm getting my carpet saturated. You're gonna soak the section down. And then uh, I'm gonna use a regular brush. Alexis was nice enough. That's the lady who um, owns this company. She was nice enough to bless us with a Denman brush, which uh, worked wonders. But of course, I was rude enough to lose it, so whatever. I'm just gonna make this section a little bit bigger. Yeah, about that big. You wanna saturate the section. Smooth it all the way out to the top. And then, this is, this is the money shot right here. You're going to do a spiral curl. You're gonna do a spiral curl, and <clears throat> you don't wanna just do a regular spiral curl and let it go. You want it to be tight, because this is what helps it keep its form when it dries. And then I would do this all over my hair, and then uh, just walk around, let my hair air dry. And then when it's finally dry, that's when I'd separate the curls. So you want your curl to look like that. I know it kind of looks like a dreadlock, like a starter dreadlock, but that's what we want. That's how we get these curls to pop, girl. So I'm gonna do it again. And the reason why I'm not doing it on my whole head is because I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory if I do it in little baby sections or just do a little bit at a time, but you guys can figure it out afterwards. The key is literally just <clears throat> taking small sections and finger coiling them. That's how you get this look that I have here. Now, I don't know if I told you, but I have three bundles of 22 inches 
and um, it's very full and everyone thinks it's my own hair. Three bundles of 22. Now I did cut it and I gave myself a diva cut, which is basically, I had it like how it is now in the defined state and then I just went through and cut it to shape my face and, and all that good stuff. Dang, I think I only had to do two braids, two twists. All right, so I may go back in later to do some of them over, but this is like bomb. <laughs> Look at this hair. This is really, I love this hair. I'm not even saying it just cause like she, it's not even a sponsorship or anything, like even if that's a word, but I love this hair. It, it makes me feel so free and it really makes me feel free because I know I don't have to do a lot to it to get it to blend. And that's what I'm going to show you now. This video is about to be done long, but you know, I just want to get it out there for all those asking. All right. Okay. So in the front, I just did some braids and that's really all I do to blend. I have 4C hair, like 100 to 4G hair. And uh, a lot of people think that I have like hair like this because it blends, I make it blend so well. I'm like, no girl, <laughs> it's just, it's just all in the flick of the wrist. It's all in the technique. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty long. If you want to fast forward through this part while I take these braids out, you can, cause I'm literally just struggling right here. But um, if you're gonna watch it, let me talk to you a little bit. So the reason why I've been MIA is because, um, well, there's really no reason, but since I've been gone, I lost another 13 pounds. So I actually, from the last video, my weight loss thing I did, um, I was 175 there. Now I'm 162. Mm -hmm. And I'm extremely happy because I'm really close to my weight loss goal of 155. I started off in total of 185. And what I really used was HydroxyCut. It really helped me a lot. But you still have to eat right. You can't just freaking take HydroxyCut and expect a miracle to happen. You still need to eat right. You still need to exercise a couple times a week. You don't have to go ham. But, um, you know, the more you exercise, the more results you'll get. I didn't exercise that much, but I still got good results. Shoot, my hair is probably still wet from... I did this at, at like 3 a.m. this morning. And I was in Germany for the military. I'm actually deploying next month. Actually, this month. I'm deploying in like three weeks. I'm going away to Egypt. And I'm going to be there for a minute. So that's, that's the blending right there. But I'm going to take it a step further. <sighs> did I bring my... What the frick? Oh, here it is. I'm gonna use my little ratchet old toothbrush. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm getting closer to y'all. So this is the blending. Um, I could leave it like this, but I'm, we really trying to fool people out in these streets. So baby hair, baby hair, baby hair. Now I'm gonna use my got to be glued. Let's not get crazy, cause this stuff is is uh legitimate. You don't need too too much, but. I like to go like that. Come on. Sorry, this, this, this is this is rough. Okay, there we go. Just put it right on my edges. And I have crazy looking sideburns, so I like to put it on my sideburns too. And just swoop. You can do your baby hairs however you want. I highly suggest doing them because it just puts the whole look together. Now, I'm not anti-natural, you know, anti-4C hair, blah, blah, blah. I just think it looks more put together when you actually have your edges done. And that was even when I was younger. My mother would always do my edges. Um, she wouldn't do baby hairs because I didn't have none. The reason why I have baby hairs now is because I just perm, like, literally this much of my hair. Like, just that much. I didn't go any further back. And that's just to pull my looks together. And, uh, yeah. Don't tell me this is not my hair. Who the frick? Look, look at how this just moves. <sighs> oh, this dress. I love this dress. I just got it yesterday in the mail. It's from shopchriszoe.com. I love her clothes. But anyway, let's get closer. Let's let's really get in on this hair. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I will leave a link in the description box of I mean, to the hair and the lengths or whatever, just the website in general. This hair is the kinky curly hair, and she has a plethora of textures that suits 
a lot of natural hair people needs. I like to go with the softer texture just because it's easier to manage. And yeah, just look at it. I'm gonna let you look at it again. And this is 22 inches that I cut. So don't, like, when I got it, it was, like, down here. Like, I had to cut it off. The ringlets really formed when I when I trimmed it. That's another thing. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to come, shoot. Hopefully, be before I deploy, I can come with more videos um, of whatever. Uh, stay. I come with more videos of whatever just to get them out because people have been I had to get this one out because people have been dying to see what I did to get this this look. And I love it. I love the messy look. The Tames look is nice, but I love the messy look. And it's still soft, guys. Still soft. Three months in, still soft. Anyway, thank you for watching my video, guys. And stay tuned in the future for more videos. I appreciate every single subscriber that I get. Like, comment, subscribe. Ask me any question you want. I'm completely open to questions. I love it when you guys ask me questions. I love talking to you guys because I feel like we're friends. <laughs> anyway, have a great day, guys, and I will talk to you later.